What's up guys, this is Adorable Hubby and welcome to my vlog for the second time around. In this video, I will show you on how I do an oil change on my 4x2 Mitsubishi Triton Strada 2015 with a 456 engine model and VGT turbo. To make sure what kind of engine oil and quantity of oil is to be used, make it a habit to always consult the owner's manual. If you are in doubt, do not hesitate to contact your nearest Mitsubishi dealership store. The specification for the 4D56 engine is that the oil pan quantity is 5.5 liters and the oil filter is 0.8 liter, the total of 6.3 liters. Select engine oil of the proper SAE viscosity number according to the atmospheric temperature. The API classification for is for service CD or higher. Make sure your vehicle is level on the ground. In my case, I use a heavy duty ramp to make sure that my vehicle is level because the ground is not even. Ramp that I made on the last video. Then secure your vehicle properly because safety is your top priority. First, remove the under vehicle protection plate. And we're going to use 17 mil socket to remove the sump plug or the engine oil drain plug. Return the plug after all of the oil has drained in preparation for engine flushing. I made a DIY engine flush which is a combination of diesel fuel and engine oil with a 1 is to 1 ratio. As you can see here, I use the cheapest kind of engine oil. This container has contained already 2 liters of diesel fuel and now we're gonna add 2 liters of diesel oil. Mix evenly the components by shaking the container vigorously and then pour. After pouring the 4 liters engine flush, return the engine oil cap. Run the engine in an idle for about 30 seconds. I repeat, maximum of 30 seconds. Remove the plug to drain the flushing solution. Although flushing is not necessary for an engine getting the oil change at manufacturer's prescribed intervals or as per the mileage and driving conditions. Besides, the owner's manual never suggests the flushing of the engine. This is to inform you also that neither I'm a car expert 
nor a mechanic or an engineer. This video is for demonstration and entertainment purposes only. Leave the vehicle for an overnight to completely drain the oil. This is the old washer that I remove and this is what you call the sump washer which is made of aluminum and single use only. This kind is what you call the banded seal oil washer composed of a rubber gasket and galvanized steel. The inside diameter of this uh, aluminum sump washer is 13.36 mil. Well, the inside diameter of this uh, bonded seal washer is 14.34 mil. So I think this is this works well because they use this in hydraulic fittings and other components that holds oil. This fits well because it is when it's getting tight, it compresses the rubber. An overnight draining of oil from an oil pan is a good practice because it totally drains the oil from the oil pan and such duration of time is more than enough wipe off the excess oil and then put the plug with the new bonded seal washer on it run the plug down with your hand until it stops the flush with the oil pan with a wrench, tighten the plug very lightly until it stops and is only snug with the pen. Then tighten the plug one for turn. And then we're going to replace the oil filter. And on the 45.6 engine, the oil filter is located on the right side of the engine. Using the oil filter wrench remover. Unscrew or loosen the filter by turning the filter counterclockwise. Then, when the filter is loose enough, remove it by hand. And then, wipe off the excess oil using clean cloth and I'm, and I'm going to use this uh, Vic oil filter model C306 which is made in Japan and it is uh, widely used here in our country Wipe the rubber seal with the oil so that when uh, tightening the oil filter to the mounting, the pressure will not break or damage the rubber seal due to the friction caused by turning the oil filter. When tightening the oil filter, turn it clockwise using oil filter wrench. And then when the oil filter is snug to the mounting, turn the oil filter one fourth clockwise. So it's time to fill up our baby. The Caltex product, the Dill Sports and Havolin variety. You will notice they have the same SAE viscosity, but we will use different APIs API CG4 and API SN. I'll explain to you on my other video how come I'm going to use the other different kinds of APIs. But they are the same brand and made by Caltex.
since the engine oil capacity of our 45.6 engine is only 6.3 liters the last of the seven bottles we're going only we're going to use only 300 ml of it and as you can see here we already poured 300 ml of the one liter bottle so there's uh, 700 ml still remaining in it then screw the oil filler cap of the engine partial check after filling the oil no presence of oil it's clean then we're going to run the engine Okay, so let's do the one final check, the engine oil level. You will see two holes on the end of this dipstick. The stall is for the minimum oil level and the second hole is for the maximum level of oil. And we're on the maximum level, which is good. So it became a habit to do a reminder using a ink tape and a pen to write the next schedule or the preventive maintenance service by writing the, the mileage marker. Make sure you put the used oil into a container that isn't damaged and has a secure lid. Don't dispose of these oils with your normal household waste or recycling. They should be taken to your local household recycling site for safe disposal. Same goes with the used oil filter. Dispose them properly 